Hey everyone, it's a gorgeous twilight on a Saturday evening, March 2021. I love driving near the hotels during this time of the evening because this is when the sun is just beginning to set and the lights of the Las Vegas Valley just begin to come to life. It's like Las Vegas is putting on its makeup. During this past summer, I visited a restaurant called the Legends Oyster Bar and Grill. The restaurant and the owner was featured in a local newspaper article talking about how a restaurant was beginning to open in the middle of a pandemic. This is when the COVID outbreak was just getting bad and it was kind of risky to start a business at this time. The chef and owner happens to be a friend of mine. And upon reading that article, I decided to stop in and see how the restaurant was. It was labeled as an oyster bar and grill and they served seafood and the menu looked great. The place is not big at all. It's actually very small. It probably looks a lot bigger on the video here. So don't expect a large dining room. The menu at this place looked incredible and I love seafood. I wanted to come in and try the things they had to offer and also support my friend who was starting his business. In my first video, I introduced Jack, owner and chef of Legends Oyster Bar and Grill. Jack has had extensive experience in the culinary industry in Las Vegas. He's worked with some very famous people and he's no stranger to the scene here in Las Vegas. But even with all that experience, I believe it was a bit risky and it was kind of a gamble starting a business during COVID when capacity was limited and people were restricted and bars were shut down. There was a lot of uncertainty and a lot of things to worry about. One thing you didn't have to worry about when you came to this restaurant was the food. When I visited here last August, the food was incredible. This is a seafood lover's dream. Everything from the size of the shrimp to the preparation, the chilled legends platter with all the fresh seafood, the calamari, the fried shrimp, everything was really, really good. I remember being impressed with the size of the shrimp and the freshness of the seafood. They had all of my favorite dishes there, but there was just too much food to try in just one visit. The restaurant started off really good, but a lot of restaurants do, until they get to the point of having to maintain that consistency, getting the delivery and the shipments, getting the customers, making a profit, and becoming an established restaurant that can continue on and survive. And that was the question. I was at the Rio, uh, Caesar Palace, and the Flamingo. I actually found the best location here on the west side of the valley. I actually grew up in this area. So that was then. This is now. This place is crazy. Crazy busy. This place is packed. It's full all the time. And I read the reviews on Yelp. The reviews from the customers are stellar. And as far as consistency, it's still as good as the first time I visited last summer. The only thing is the prices may fluctuate or change from time to time, but the prices are pretty stable and they don't change that drastically. The shrimp are still gigantic and the freshness of the seafood was still incredibly fresh. 
The Legends Platter is one of my favorite things to get here. It comes with a lot of the fresh chilled seafood, the giant jumbo shrimp, and this time crab legs, oysters on a half shell, scallops on a half shell, and mussels. This is the Chipino. I decided to go with this instead of the pan roast and the linguine and clams. Those are next on my list. The Chipino is good. It was filled with all kinds of seafood to keep you busy and happy for a while. I also got the fish and chips. The fish pieces were not gigantic, but they were a good solid chunk of some really sturdy quality fish. I think it was cod. It was crispy outside and it was flaky and delicious inside. This is a shrimp from my shrimp cocktail. This is only half. I bit off a large chunk on the first bite. So this kind of gives you an idea of how large these shrimp are. And once again, I said it in the first video, if you're not careful, you can get pretty full off of eating too many shrimps. These are gigantic shrimp. In fact, it was so good that I came back a couple days later to get their surf and turf. They have two kinds of surf and turf. There's a surf and turf appetizer, which is kind of like a shish kebab. I think the surf and turf skewers come with uh, some kind of a beef, shrimp, bell pepper, and onions. This is the dinner surf and turf. They call this the Cajun surf and turf. For your turf, you have your choice of chicken or beef, which is a ribeye, or lamb. And then for your seafood, you have your choice of shrimp, scallops, crab, or lobster. The crab and lobster is market price. The ribeye is the most expensive. It's priced at $25 or $30. I can't remember. It's just that the menu on the website is a little bit different from the menu posted on Yelp. The lobster was braised in butter, cooked with, in a butter sauce. The lobster was great. It wasn't a huge lobster, so you might want to ask them how they price it. It was a full lobster with the claws and the tail was I think about 6 to 8 ounces. The mashed potato was creamy and the mashed potato was actually really really good. But the mashed potato was sitting next to the ribeye steak and the lobster so naturally it wasn't going to get all of my attention. Now as far as the steak goes, I've had a lot of good steaks and this is not a steakhouse. This is not going to be a 21 day aged ribeye steak, but I already expected that it wasn't going to be steakhouse quality. But I had to keep in mind that this was a Cajun surf and turf. So I guess that's the sauce and the steak was not the best steak that I've had. I got to be honest with that. It wasn't as soft, although it was a medium rare, but it did pass as a surf and turf. Whether the quality is worth the price should be determined by each person individually. As for me, I'd probably not get the steak again. I'd probably get something else like the lamb chops or the skewers. The lobster along with all the other seafood was great. And that's what this place is about. It's about the seafood. But they have a lot of other things on their menu so i'll leave a link to their website in the description below and you can see all the dishes that they have in addition to the seafood here all of the seafood here is really solid there's some really good items here whether you like the fish and chips or the butterfly shrimp which is like a giant fried shrimp or the fresh oysters or scallops on a half shell the shrimp cocktail this place really delivers and they have some really surprisingly good dishes like their chowder fries, their mac and cheese. And I haven't even tried their jambalaya yet or their pan roast. And it's really crowded everywhere now with the easing of the restrictions. This is a scene from the parking lot on a Saturday night. Uh, this is Shanghai Plaza from my last video. On this Saturday night, there was almost nowhere to park. People were doing laps just waiting for someone to leave. This is how it was before the COVID restrictions began. 
So Legends Oyster Bar and Grill is a huge success. I'm really happy for my friend. You should read their reviews on Yelp. And that's it for this one. See y'all next time.